to my channel. My name is Darian and today I'm going to be doing the Pisces book tag. So this tag was created by Jo from Joannotations. She is doing a tag for every single one of the zodiac signs so I will leave her channel linked down below so you can check out the other videos she's done. I think she's done maybe four or five of them now but yeah you guys can go check out see if she's done your zodiac sign yet so you can do the tag that coincides with your zodiac sign but I'm doing the Pisces tag because obviously I'm a Pisces. I Even if you didn't know I was a Pisces, I feel like I'm just the most stereotypical Pisces <laughs> because I'm very sensitive and I'm very emotional and I'm very loyal and empathetic. Those are some of the biggest traits of Pisces, but anyways, I thought this would be fun because I just had my birthday and I'm pretty sure I can get this video out before Pisces season is over. So. Yeah, also I do want to point out that I'm wearing this driver's license sweatshirt that my friend Casey got me. Thank you so much, Casey. <laughs> I love it so much and obviously driver's license, one of my favorite songs ever. I love it so much. I'm so obsessed. And Olivia Rodrigo is also a Pisces, which makes total sense. But yeah, just wanted to point out this amazing sweatshirt. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the questions. So the first question is water sign. Name a book that features the ocean and the book that I had to go with is Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno. First of all, I am so happy that I have a physical copy of this book now. My friend Sydney got it for me for my birthday and I am so grateful. I love this book so much. I read it last year and there's so much that goes on in this book and for such a short book there's a lot that happens so we're basically following this girl named Georgina who lives on this island called by the sea I think yes um, so obviously the ocean plays a big part and she's lived on this island her whole life and she is about to turn 18 at the end of the summer and after she turns 18 she's going to move away to college and it'll be her first time off the island so she's very nervous about that but also all of the women in Georgina's family, they all have some sort of magical ability and all of the women, their magical ability kind of reveals itself by the time they turn 18 and Georgina's power hasn't revealed itself yet so she's getting pretty nervous about that as well and she has a twin sister whose power kind of came about right after they were born so there's that. Also during the summer this town gets a whole lot of tourists because there's this very rare bird on this island and then one of the tourists is a girl that Georgina develops a crush on so there's that element as well there's just a whole lot that goes on in this book and it's such a beautiful story and the writing in it is just like so addictive to read I loved Katrina Leno's writing so much and I would highly highly recommend this book I do remember trigger warnings for rape and animal abuse I believe in this book so maybe check out the trigger warning before you go into it but if you haven't read this book yet I would highly recommend it it's one of my favorites and I love it so much and obviously the ocean <laughs> That's all you need to know. So the next question is creative nature, which is to name a character that is creative in an artistic way. And I had to go with my girl, Zuzanna from the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series, but specifically in the novella Night of Cake and Puppets, where, so, okay, let me explain. So Zuzanna is the main character, Karu, her best friend in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. And she, her and Mick, who is her boyfriend, they are my favorite characters in that series. I love them so much, but I think I like Zuzanna more than Mick. She's just so funny and, oh my God, I love her so much and in this novella it is about her and Mick's first date that happens during the time of the first book but we never got the story we just know that Susanna kind of goes from liking Mick and then all of a sudden they're together and so this tells the story of their first date and I mean I don't want to say too much because this is a novella and like if I say anything about this I feel like it'll spoil it but it's basically Basically what happens is Zuzanna kind of plans this scavenger hunt for Mick and just everything she plans is so creative and there's also illustrations. Every time I do this I can never find any but you can kind of see here, well here's a picture of Mick and he's also very creative because he plays the violin which we love. Okay well just trust me I cannot find 
a lot of the illustrations in this but they're there and they're beautiful and yeah just Susanna is very artistic and creative and I love her so if you have I wouldn't recommend reading this if you haven't read at least the first book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series because I don't think you'll appreciate it like I think you will find it a very cute story but I feel like you need to get to know the characters first to really appreciate this but if you have read at least the first book then I would highly recommend reading this because it's just so cute and I love it and I love them so much and yeah I love them. So the next question is Impressionable Characters which is to name a book that left a huge impression on you or your life and <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk about Strange of Dreamer. If you somehow don't know, Strange of Dreamer is my favorite book of all time. I recently reread it and I tabbed it. I don't know if you could see, but there's a lot of tabs. I just love this book so much and <laughs> I just, oh, I love it. So if you don't know, this book follows this man named Laszlo Strange, which also I recently got a dog and I named him Laszlo after the main character of this book. If that doesn't tell you how much I love this book, I don't know what does, but yeah, we're following Laszlo Strange and he is a librarian and kind of an outcast. He doesn't really fit in, he doesn't really have any friends, he just loves books and loves working in this library and he's also obsessed with this lost city of Weep that is said to have disappeared like 200 years ago I think and some people think that the city is just a myth but Laszlo has always believed that it's real and then one day he may get the opportunity to go to Weep and that's all I want to say because I think it's best going into this book not knowing too much because I think Lainey Taylor is so good at revealing everything in this book. She definitely takes her time to reveal everything and she does so in such a masterful way and it's so good and this book just means a lot to me because I mean, I love Laszlo so much. He's my favorite character, I think, in any book ever. He's just so kind and uh, <laughs> he's such a cinnamon roll. He deserves the best and he goes through a lot in this book. And I just love all the characters so much and this will, this will always be a comfort read for me even though it's super sad <laughs> and makes me cry but I'm glad I have this book to always come back to whenever I need something comforting to read. But yeah, if you haven't read this yet, please read it, especially if you love beautiful lyrical writing or if you love me, then maybe you should read it because it's my favorite book. But also if you hate it, please don't tell me because I'll be sad. Okay, yes love it. So the next question is always generous and that's to name a booktuber who you find is always generous. So I had to go with one of my favorite humans. I love them so much but that is Molly from Mind of Molly. There's just not enough nice things to say about Molly. They are one of the most genuine and generous kindest people I've ever met. If you some I feel like everybody at this point knows who Molly is but if you somehow don't know I will leave their channel link down below. Definitely make sure you go subscribe because they're just so ooh. <laughs> They're just an angel and I love them so much. They're always every time I talk to them they're just so kind. Lazo agrees um, and the way that they are just always there for their friends and try to help out other booktubers like I love them so much and I hope I can continue getting to know them more and I love their content so much they have the best TBR game like they're just the best <laughs> and I love them so if you aren't subscribed to Molly definitely go check them out because we love them in this house okay they're not a Pisces by the way but I felt like I had to like it would be against the law to not talk about them for this question, you know? So definitely go subscribe to them if you're not yet. But yeah, I love you, Molly, if you're watching this. Okay. And the last question is escapism is key. Name a book or book series that you turn to to escape. So obviously for me, that would be Strange the Dreamer and Music Nightmares, the Strange the Dreamer duology. But another series that I wanted to mention is the Ember and the Ashes series, which first of all, Look at this. This is the Fairy Loot Special Edition and it's just so beautiful. 
It's so beautiful. I'm not gonna hold all of them up because I don't feel like it. <laughs> this is the first one. I've actually only read the first two books in this series, but I love these books so much and they definitely, if you need escapism, like th these books do not leave you room to breathe. You, <laughs> you are forced to just pay attention to what's going on. There's no way you can think of anything else. Like these books are so fast paced and they just suck you in and you just gotta know what's going on to all these characters, but I love them so much. So I'm gonna read the synopsis of this book because for whatever reason, I just am never good at explaining what this book is about. So I'm just gonna read what it says. So that way I don't butcher this synopsis because there's just so much going on in this book and I never know how to explain it. So, ahem. <laughs> Listen up. An orphan fighting for her family, a soldier searching for his freedom, a story burning to be told. Laia is a scholar living under the iron-fisted rule of the Martial Empire. When her brother is arrested in the dead of night for treason and her loved one slain, <clears throat> Laia must go undercover as a slave at the Empire's greatest military academy in exchange for assistance from those who claim that they can save her brother from execution. The academy's finest soldier, Elias, is secretly the is secretly its most unwilling, but before he can act on the deser desertion? Desertion? <laughs> Desertion? 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 I think so. He plans in his heart. He's ordered to participate in a ruthless contest to choose the next martial emperor. When Lyon and Elias's paths collide, they will find their destinies are inescapably intertwined and their choices will rock the future of the very empire they fear. So if that doesn't intrigue you, I don't know what will, but... <sighs> I love this series so much. I know I need to finish it, okay? I know Lisa and Casey are yelling at me. I still have to read the last two books and I'm very nervous. <laughs> but I know once I read them, like, I will be completely sucked in and honestly, I'm scared but excited. Um, but if you haven't started this series yet, I highly, highly recommend it. It is so good and again, look at this. And it's also signed, I mean, this is specific to the Fairy Lude edition. If you pick this up, I can't guarantee it will be signed, but I'm just showing off here. Um, but yeah, so definitely the best escapism. Love it. So that's it for the Pisces book tag. This tag was pretty short, just a little short and sweet video for you guys. And I wanted to tag some fellow Pisces. So I'm going to tag Sasha from The Redhead Reader and Mafalda from Mafalda is Reading. You guys are tagged. And if you are a Pisces, I also tag you to do this tag. Definitely make sure you go check out Joe's other zodiac sign tag book tag videos. I don't know what to call it, but go check out those videos and see if she has done your tag yet. And I guess I tag you also to do your own zodiac tag. Okay, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but it's fine. So yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Bye!